so I tend to have obsessions. And this one's fairly new, but it might just make it better if I show it to you. But it might just make it worse, so I guess we'll have to see if this obsession really has its hold on me. It's Squishmallows, by the way. Me, you've been collecting squishmallows for a long time without telling me. Oh, what is that? Oh, I'll just go add this to the pile. Cleaning a Wendy I found in the Bronx. Retreat. Wait. Rin. In the mesh prison. In the washer she goes. Escape the prison. Time to wear dry in the window. All clean. I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost. And it has a white refrigerator. Because you freaking fricks just can't ever be quenched. Your, your fantasies can't ever be quenched, can they? You freaking fricks. What will you learn? What will you learn? That your actions have consequences. Lady Gaga collects squishmallows. Okay, so I think someone commented on one of my videos earlier this morning and asked me if I was going to make a video about Lady Gaga, and I was like, huh? And then I saw a bunch of people do it, and I was like, huh, am I going to do this? But I am, because I want to chime in and give you my opinion. So for all the old people like me, Lady Gaga posted this picture earlier today, I think. It's just a simple little picture of the Queen Gaga laying here with her squishmallows. But can we talk about the caption? Let's speed read it. I love my friends, my real friends, that I come home to a pile of rainbows because they want me to smile and celebrate me. I love you, friends. All your colors, your uniqueness, your kindness, your curiosity, and endless love. The caption sent me because that's literally how I feel about them. In my opinion, if Lady Gaga literally loves them like we all love them, I support her being a collector and posting about it all she wants. She's literally laying in a bed of unpopular mallows. How could you be mad? She's giving you... Guys, a fool just got here. Oh my god. Okay, if y'all did not know before I open it, um, she had a lot of shipping problems. She was actually supposed to come like three days ago, but the person that shipped it to me did the wrong shipping and I had to pay an extra five dollars. And then they were like, you have to come pick it up. And then I had to call the post office. There was just so much going on with this. It's in kind of a weird <laughs> box, but whatever. Let's open it up. I'm so excited. I've been wanting this one for like... It's been a recent one I've wanted. Like, I've just started wanting her. Oh my god, I cannot open this box. Okay, I finally got it open. Oh my god, she's so soft. Oh my god. Guys, it's just a tag and everything. I love her so much. Oh my god. Walgreens run. OMG, they actually have some. Squish. No, Rita Bega. Boo hoo wow. Taking this big boy. Cutie pie. Vroom vroom. It's no seat belt.
My sister made these Squishmallow blind bags and wanted me to open them on camera. Checklist I got Wendy I don't like Wendy, but this is kind of cute. These remind me of homemade squishies. Second one. Who will I get next? Avery. I have him in a squishmallow. Last blind bag. The only one left is Connor. He's actually really cute. I think he's my favorite out of all of the ones he made. Build a squishmallow net with me. This is what you call fashion. <laughs> Guys, I'm finally doing big boy things. Look. <laughs> I did that. I really did that. <laughs> I finally finished setting up the squish net and it looks so freaking amazing. Very cute. You guys want to see it? All right, I'll show you. Ta-da! That is my squish net. It's mostly browns because I love browns so much. And look! Look at all these gorgeous freaking babies. So beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so I got word that the Hello Kitty Squishmallows were dropping at Costco, so I went right when they opened. Um, here I am walking in the long line, and here we are sprinting for where they keep the Squishmallows, and we see them! Oh my god! Look at how adorable they are, I am so excited. They also had these ones, um, we didn't get any of those, but we did get one of each of the Hello Kitties! So adorable! There are two of us, so that's why we got two of each. Um, and then that girl with the purple hair was filming us getting our squishmallows, so that was kind of weird. Um, but yeah, there's our total. And the condiments. Um, the sauces. But yeah. Updated Squish Collection. I know I'm gonna get in trouble for this, like, oh my gosh, but y'all, I am driving. I've been driving for the last 40 minutes to get to this Walgreens. Do y'all know who I'm gonna get? Oh, y'all, see when I get there, I'm like 10 minutes away. Oh my gosh. Oh, y'all, I am insane. I am insane, but oh my gosh. Literally, I already have my mask on. The Walgreens is right across the street, but I'm stuck at a light. Oh, y'all can see it. Y'all! I freaking had 16 inch Connor for $15. Oh my god. I found the 12 inch Food Squad Squishmallows at a gas station. I got cinnamon and caramelita. Have you guys noticed a new texture with the new Squishmallows? For example, this is Austin. I got them last year 
and he is so soft you can see that there's barely anything like pulling up but as soon as i get this new squid land in he's 2021 release and look at that you can see the pulling it's definitely different i personally prefer the older squishmallows the softer ones they're not as hard to cuddle and touch but i'm really disappointed because i love landon so much he's finally a squid in australia but i don't like his texture i got some squishmallows yesterday from five below but i want to show you really quickly so first i got elder the ostrich no words and i think this next one is my new favorite archer the y'all i don't collect these very much but they actually have some so I think I'm going to take him home with me. They're very cute. I can't believe they're in stock. Gigantic Dino Squishmallow acquired. Now to buckle him up so we can go home. All right, I'll see you later. Goodbye. Hey guys, it's Megan and I'm home in Chicago for a week. So I decided that I wanted to show you guys my home storage method for my Squishmallows. Like my normal storage method back at school, it does consist of box shelves. So let's take a look at them. So when I'm home from college, I bring enough Squishmallows to fill these shelves that I've had since I was a little kid. And while I'm at school, they do remain completely empty. But this is where the collecting all started and I get super excited to fill these shelves up every time. And since I started collecting pretty much exactly a year ago now, why don't we take a look at what these shelves looked like a year ago? And here it is. When I first started collecting, as you can tell, most of my collection was from Five Below. But it's so crazy to think about how it's already been one whole year since I started collecting and just seeing where I'm at now in terms of my collection. No, yeah. 